What did you want me to do? The tool you're carrying. Plug it into the computer over there. Put the sort of square thing you're holding into the matching hole over there. Use the Omni tool with the computer. Where's over there? Come on, turn to the. Is it. It must be over here. So that explains why she's so relaxed. She's like, whatever, just get through there. I don't care about she's anything. She's like, no, I'll just be hanging out here. Don't worry about it. The terminal? Right there. I got turned into a robot. Like, whatever. Lambda terminal 27 activated. The Omni tool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? All right. Let's give this a try. We're gonna add it to the Omni tool. Oh, she can be her buddy now. Custom Cortex chip found. Shutting down helper chain. Have a nice day. Just pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Huh. Weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, silent. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. Check the computer in the other room. What was it you said before? You're from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Where's the other room? Doesn't look like it's this one because there should be a computer. There's a butthole in here. No, this is the bathroom. I know. I was just exploring. Yeah. You don't make any sense to it. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Huh. always wanted to be a robot. Yep. Stacey so wants to be a robot so bad. <laughs> it's not even like, she's not even joking. She's like, I'm like, no, this is good. We're a robot. Okay. What happened before? That creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, it basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing, at least. Gives the senses a good punch. Oh. 
that means we are part biomechanical because the electromagnetism messes with our brains. Yeah. There's really Sorry. no way around this. A freaking comet killed the planet. Afraid so. We were all stranded down here. And we were the lucky ones. Mm. Uh, to Chris from Dad. I've stayed up all night. Seems like a waste to sleep. I got the TV on in the background. The newscasters are covering the incoming comet like they were counting down for New Year's Eve. I know it's messed up wishing you were here with me. I suppose if anyone has a chance to survive this thing, it would be you guys below the waves. I hope you're able to go on if it's uh, life worth living. Looks like the shit's about to hit the fan. I better hit send before the shockwave reaches us. I'm proud of you, boy. Dad. Even when Dad's dying, he's like, nah, well, nah. This makes, love you. This makes sense about why um, everybody's so nonchalant about death. Yeah. I guess like they're like, well, even if we do f die from these terrible things, it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. Because they know everything's going to be wiped out, so they're like, fuck it. But the thing is, that AI doesn't know how long it's been. And the bodies that we found are fresh. Mm -hmm. And one of them is still, and one woman is still alive. So I don't think the events could have been too long. But then at the same time, we're in somebody's head, so it doesn't need to make too much sense. What about uh, this door over here? I know, I just, I don't... <laughs> <sighs> Touch all the things. Touch all the, the things. Tower and the dock and the welcome center. What tower? What are you talking about? This place is in ruins. All the cameras show static. It's... It's so strange. This is where we were. Oh, this door is open now, though. Check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the Ark. I want to look around for a bit first, make sure that... Okay. I'm trying to remember what the map looks like, which I won't remember, but nah. I'm going to pretend that I will. <laughs> Opinion poll. Interesting. Are you excited about the Ark? At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. What are your thoughts on the Ark? It's a great idea. Finally, we have something to do. Am I right? Are you optimistic about the project's chances of, um, about the Ark reaching space? Yeah, it can definitely be done. You already solved the biggest problem, how to actually get us all in there. Now all we have to do is build the damn thing and hope Phi is still operational. Yeah, I think we can do it. But it's not gonna be easy. So I, 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 I'm curious, what if somebody here, like that professor lady, mm -hmm. she just decided to make up like a sim or something, and then she put it in one of the robots, and then the, some reason it just got uploaded. Like, we're an experiment. Yeah. But at the same time, a lot of things are inconsistent, so then I'm like, whatever. We'll see. I still feel like this is more a dream than reality, but whatever. What are your thoughts on the art project? The idea is uh, just incredible. By every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics. Beyond the superficial. I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. 
What if this is a simulation? <laughs> I'm what? just thinking, like... I wonder what their world is. If they launched it, and they're all within, like, a simulated world, I wonder what their world's like. Mm. And then I'm wondering, like, is this guy... The guy that who originally put us in the chair, is that his desire? And, like, this is the world that he built, and he's, like, testing it on us? That, like, this entire undersea thing is the world that he created? Like, not exactly created, but, like, maybe something got messed up, but he wanted to, like, test it on us. But, like, you know, maybe he has some sort of gray morality where he's like, well, they're dying anyway, it's okay. Oh, I see what you mean. So... Yes. Yeah. Like, so because we're a patient that is dying, it kind of, he gives himself the permission to, like, experiment whatever. Yeah. Pretty much experiment whatever the fuck he wants on you. Mm Mm-hmm. Or he does a brain scan, and everything from this point forward is the brain scan, and the guy just got up, and he was like, thanks, bye. Yeah, what, and if, where what the, if this is the, the, so this is the brain scan, and we have been put into this virtual environment, and what, we're completely separate from the actual person that's walking out in the world. Yeah, exactly, like, yeah. what if he was like, oh, I did the brain scan, it's an exact copy of his brain, and because I don't feel like the brain scan is, is like, a real person? is a real person, I can do whatever I want to it, and do all these things to it, because I just want to see what happens. But really, because they're talking about what it means to just be a copy of something... Yeah. What, who we are does matter, even if we are just a brain scan in a simulation. Mm-hmm. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Looks a whole lot comfier than this place. Really? They get to have this place? And we get this bullshit place? We don't know if they ever made it anywhere. I'm just gonna assume it does. So this is basically... This is actually the dream of the, uh, Geth in... In Mass Effect, this was actually the dream of the Geth. This is what they wanted to do originally before Bioware was like, just kidding, we gotta make it more human so people understand them. So they, they would just all be put into a small... Well, they were gonna make a gigantic sphere. Yeah. And then they were gonna have, like, an energy source, and they were all just gonna put themselves in the, in the sphere so that they could be together forever. Oh. And just, like, hang out. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what this is. Although they're doing it for survival purposes. Yeah, the Geth, that was like their dream. That was like, they were like, this is going to be like the best. We're going to, it's going to be so awesome. We'll just be in a sphere. Yeah, like, and everyone's like, okay. And then they retconned that in Mass Effect 3 where they're like, no, they actually just want to be like, um, humans. Because that is something we understand. And I was like, what? Mm. Welcome. If you are reading this, you have successfully entered the ARC. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. How would you describe your physical condition? I feel alien, right? Yeah. How would you describe your mental condition? Feel disconnected? Yes. How would you describe your senses? Um, I would say that lacking one or more of natural senses, right? Mm-hmm. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? Uh, Everything feels constructed? Yes, it's disconcerting. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? Mm. No, that's fine. Somewhat. I like the fourth one. I don't care what format. Is that what our character would say, or is that what you would say? I don't know. Yeah, you you go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. What what do you what did you want? Well, I think he would say somewhat. I feel like I lost myself. Do you think this is going to affect our game? 
These uh, questions that we answer? Maybe. How do you perceive your new existence? Uh, I would say it's something completely different. Do you think this new existence will be a life worth living? Maybe. Maybe we can find a new sense of meaning. Would you rather be removed from the project and accept death? No. Maybe. I need to think about it. Sure. Because if the guy is dying and he needs to accept death, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Okay. And also maybe we're accepting the death of our girlfriend, too. Mm-hmm. Your answers have been saved. Thank you for participating, the ARC team. You know, they never actually said the girl was his girlfriend. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. They just said it, uh, well, in the newspaper article they said friend, but, so who knows? Well, kind of ambiguous? Person that you care about. Yeah. I found a tracker homed in on the ARC. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something, at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. Oh, wait. What? We should be able to find its, uh... Here. Which one is the Ark? Earth, Venus. It should be going like this. A deal arc orbit is the is the yellow one. So it should be on the Earth's near Earthish kind of between Earth and Venus. Catherine. What? Nothing. Never mind. I think it should be on the Earth's orbit, right? Yeah. It should be... See the circle that their Earth is on? Oh, oh! There we go. It's on Earth. Oh. No, the more green it gets, the closer you are. Oh, I see. It's on Tau. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no. It's on Earth. It's so close to Phi, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could, could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. It's interesting that he considers it a form of escape. Mm-hmm. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't take the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dunbat's still working. Okay. So we go to Theta. I don't know, it's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? You know what? 
I found his sunken vessel just outside. Bet that could take us to Theta. Really? Didn't look completely out of action. It even lit up a little when I tried the Omni tool on it. Okay, then. Let's have a look. I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. Aw. Yeah. She was being kind of like, I don't know, like, whatever. And you're like, you're just sitting there. Like, yeah, what are you going right, to do? Let's do this. <laughs> Come pick me up. And he's like, what else are you going to do? I don't know. I just like, you know, you know, sometimes and you just don't. Where is she? Um, she. Um, I want to explore a bit. Sorry. Yeah. Don't forget to take me along. The Omni tool. Okay, I will. Just, I need to touch his butt. <laughs> Do. Who knows? We're probably gonna find out later and be like, every time you do it, you make your game worse. Or like something. you power the monster or something. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Come pick me up. Yes, okay. This is Stacy's dream. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. Good luck, Simon. Why? We can't talk to her when she's in the thing? I guess not. But with the Cortex chip, I be What? I believe we should be- So, remember that original door that we found and it said, like, no Cortex chip can't do- can't open it? Mm-hmm. Um, it means oh. that- But now we got her. Yeah, so we should be able to open it. So she's like our Cortanya. Cortana. My yeah. Dad. I don't know. I just like, I just don't really feel like being saved. I just want to sit here and do nothing forever. I'd rather just sit here in a robot. With nobody to talk to. Stuck. I can't even move because the monster broke me. Like, girl, what are you talking about? So there's two things. There's the small vessel, which is to the to the that thing right there. But also, if you follow the lights, remember that thing that we found before? Yeah, we'll go open it. It said we didn't have security clearance. Yeah, but with the cortex chip, we might be able to open it now. You wanna so, go? sure. <gasps> What's that? Oh, that's our buddy. Surprised no giant horrible creature has come up and been like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what? No sooner did you say. I was just, I was being amazed at how this uh, foliage responded to me touching it. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, that original monster's not scary at all. It looks like a giant chicken. And then they're like, no, it gets worse. <laughs> Yeah. Access still denied, okay. So let's go 
back to the little vessel. That's what I get for being like, wee jumping! I wonder if that was the game's way of telling us, like, you're not supposed to be going this way. Or maybe it was the game's way of saying, stop enjoying yourself. You're having way too much fun. It could, like, sense that, like, you're running and jumping and being like, yo! Chill. Emergency Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Sorry, it's dead. Where's the shot? The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. Oh. There. Should help you get it around. Great. Here we go. Yep. So, now we can go back to that big ship, and now we'll be able to get inside of it. Yeah, now we can run over, and then the monster will be like, okay, now I scare you. So we triggered the event without triggering, out of order. This guy duck walks so efficiently. He like, must be so strong. Got power in the quads and glutes. Although technically, he's not a person, so. Oh yeah, he's got robo upgrades. Not impressed anymore, dude. I still think he's like, you know, he started off like, uh, what, what, uh organic, and now he's like turning synthetic. Well, she said that he's just a walking. Uh, scuba suit, I saw, much. Yeah, but I saw, like, uh, I figured that, like, people, some people get slowly turned into that shit. But you're right. He could just be an actual walking scuba suit. Kind of like the other guy was just literally just a walking robot. Well, stuck on the floor robot. Yeah. I think those other monsters might used to be people. That's definitely possible. Because they're like, you can hear them talking, mm -hmm. sort of, like in this really distorted way. I'll go back there in a second, I just want to see other stuff. Remember when I wanted to get in the scuba suit at the beginning of the game, and yeah. then now it turns out we are the scuba suit? Yeah. <laughs> and remember how that other guy, the, uh, Carl, was like, you know, I can see my feet and hands. That's why, I, you know, I really feel like the reason that they put that in there is because it's like nothing is as it seems. So when we were looking at our hands and seeing human hands... Mm -hmm. I still definitely think this is a brain simulation because there's a lot of, like... Logical dream logic, dream logic, yeah. yeah. But it definitely, definitely would be cool if it turned out to be like what you think, where it's like, actually, this is reality, mm -hmm. and the other was fake. Like it was an experiment to see if we gave robots human memories, would they be happy? Exactly. And the answer is no. We created life and sentience and tortured them. Mm -hmm. It would make 
intense why we get all this glitching stuff. When I look over there, my eyes glitter, but I don't know where it is. Glitter? I mean, glitch. It's over there. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Just not look. now because I can look over there. Even know what I'm supposed to be scared of. I, me neither. Aside from all the atmospheric stuff. Isn't his heartbeat sounds kind of weird? What? His heartbeat, it sounds kind of weird. Mm hmm. Like it doesn't, it, I don't know, something sounds different about it. lights over here. Maybe that's a vessel of some sort. I'm kind of trying to strafe side to side in case I need to hide right away. Oh, definitely. Guy. Yeah, it'd be a lot less lonely, but I guess we have to plug her into stuff. Can't we just plug her into our head or something? I don't know. Yeah. What is that? It's like a wall. I think it's a tower. Remember she was talking about the tower? I mean, I don't think Hammerhead's really going to be interested in us, so I can enjoy this. Wow. Is the Hammerhead the enemy? I don't no. know. I'm not even really clear on exactly where we should be going. Aside from I this think, direction. I think the sense of being lost is part of the game. You know what I mean? I agree. Just being like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. What scares me is that the monster apparently can go outside and inside. a ladder. It goes to nothing. Oh, it's broken. It's not a ladder. Okay. <laughs> Can't see anything. It's a structure, kind of. Give everyone a good look. You know, the art direction of this game, I like it.
There's still lights lit up on this thing, but it... I wonder at what point you get... Oh, this is a place to hide. Okay. Yeah, this is a place to hide. Let's keep this. <laughs> Alright, so we're about to get into a section where... Oh, good. A monster's gonna come, so I wanna make sure I can run through here. And then close it. Alright, I'm good. down goes to nowhere, so we'll go up. Ah, this is a really big structure. <gasps> Loading screen. Oh gosh. Alright, we're in. Let's find a working escape vessel. He breathes and there's no bubbles. Yeah. And I understand that there are actually um, scuba diving equipment that recycles your air, but no, nah. nothing's that good. Wait, let's look up. Yeah, and there's no bubbles. I don't want to just be like, hello, monster! Hello, we're here, we made it! How have you been? Things lit up, but what is that? Monster was just chilling watching TV. And it like flashed at us. It like was standing there and it jumped at us. Like it didn't even need to. Uh, 